What is going on everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Live Let's Play for Mafia 3. Well, most likely. We'll see what Three we're going to do in this episode now. You, you, in. you tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. Going to wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like to hear it, but they'll come around. Hey, look at this. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. Serve the gumbo. All right, let's do it. Lincoln. Thank, Thank you very much. Lessons mine, ma'am. Hey, this guy is wearing a suit and shit. Couple days back, and they already got you working. Ah, I'm happy to do it. Means a hell of a lot to all of us. Doesn't wearing a suit, man. Why do you get free shit from us? Hey, what's up? Don't get old, son. It's a fucking shit show. I can tell by <laughs> your afro. I'll see what I can do about that. Hey there, Lincoln. Ooh. How are you, Rishi? I'm good. Nice to see you around the hollow again. Nice to see those big brown eyes. Oh, what's again. happening? Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place. We got some Haitians. I mean, Haitians. Maybe coming in. Megan, we got trouble. Run, Regine. Shit. Where the hell? Vault. Just have what? to Don't think about it. Shoot him. Motherfucker over here. No, take cover. Oh shit, this guy has a fucking gun. I just fucked him up. Whoa, what are those bones? Francois Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. That was the day when he knew he By fucked up. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. You know, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Yeah, you and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Six, sir. Uh, seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. And those batas on Velo started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. But this thing with the Haitians. It's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How are we gonna find them? Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. Do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or we could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. 
do this quiet. Away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy. I'll follow your lead. Be careful here. Yeah? Those Hessians are a hard people. I'll keep that in mind, Father. Estimate them. Okay. So I okay, I can't read that in French. Something about something. <laughs> okay. So we're on the boat. You sure this is how you want to play this? Last thing they're gonna expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the row. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us. So. Swim to the docks. All right, guys. We gotta do the stealth. And you know. Me and stealth game, they don't really go well together. How many men we send in? Oh, it's crouch. One's gonna hit the bar, the other's going after burn. Stalk your enemies and avoid their attention. Get too close. When you're stalking, you'll make less noise. How do I stalk then? Boss says if we have to burn down half the hollow to kid Sammy, we doing it. To Papa Legba, open the gate for me. Act Oh, he got a gun. Oh shit, we got a person coming. Come on. left-handed I can't climb it gotta find Baka all right let's see here I'm gonna wait for that guy to move out that guy over there yeah he's totally gonna see me if I go to for this guy wait a bit Oh shit, shit, he's coming. Alright. Let's go take this guy out. Oh nice, he fell in the water by himself. That's excellent. Oh shit. And we're in the water. Crouch, man. I saw him. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Boom, boom, mother. Headshot. Okay, let's check this place out, man. Ooh. I'll take that. Okay, so in the basement, oh shit. I think they're all looking at me though. Is there another way through? Let's bring this guy. Let's throw him in the water. Just for safekeeping. I can't believe no one got alerted when I shot that pistol. Alright, that's good. Oh, that is the only way we can go. I can't climb this, right? Nope. Should have killed that old man a long time. Whistling. 
to draw enemies away and thin out the group. Oh, cool. Think the boss was worried that Sammy would involve Marcano, ask him to come down on us. That cracker asshole don't give a shit about some worn out nigga. Long as the money's coming in, Marcano don't care who's handing it to him. Oh, he's coming in. Oh, he killed this guy too. We gotta, we gotta take his body. Take his body. Anyone else around here? Um, let's see. Where's a good spot to put this body? I was thinking some place in the bushes. Maybe here would be good. Right in the corner, maybe. Like over here. Good night. And we will move this guy. You're right here. This is good. Good night. Alright. Let's move on. Got a guy there. Oh shit, there's like three guys there. Oh, there's a guy there. I wonder if they're looking at each other. Oh, he moved. Oh shit, there's a guy there! Crap. Okay, he's coming back. Man, that could have been bad. Could have been real bad. Alright, put this guy here. I want to go back and take that guy. Shit, he's coming back. Alright, fuck it. Kill another bastard here. What? Oh, fuck. Damn. All right, this guy's gonna die, dude. Hell yeah. All right. Um, gonna go look uh, to this med kit thing to grab it. Just in case. Alright. Crouch, bitch. Alright, let's hope this guy's not looking. How do I know which guy is Baka? I'm gonna end up killing him by accident. Oh shit, what happened? Are they all looking the different way? What? Huh? Oh. Holy shit! Watch out! Shit, motherfuckers over here! Oh, great. Which one is here? Shoot him from the side! Come on, let's do this. You little sucker.
That's everyone. Okay, I think we have to enter from Oh, I need to kill him? Mistake going after the hollow. The man you're talking about took me in when I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you. Damn. You can't take a show! You fucking pig! Damn you to earth! Take it easy! Rape. Take it easy! Take it easy! He kept me in there, locked in there, day and night. Beat me, use me! I can't, you motherfucker! You and your entire goddamn family! He's dead! He's dead! He can't hurt you anymore. It's over. 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 <laughs> this is never going to be over. Panjam. What's Panjam? Save you, man. Oh shit. Hold on, I'm going inside. How do I throw a grenade? Are they gonna teach me how to throw a grenade? I can't take any of these. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, there we go. Hold R1. Where are they? Oh, I have one more shit. Face me free. Lot of bullets. Go to reload. Too hot. Too hot. Allez, allez. That's Take right. Come in. Okay, come in. Oh, there's a two there. Ha ha. Serious. Alright, let's get out of here. Do you have any good guns? Make him bleed. Oh fuck. Cover.
Oh shit! I almost died. That ain't good. Can I climb the shit? Don't think about it. Ooh, headshot this bitch. You out of your mind, mother? Watch out! Oh, one shot. Where's the other guy? Too hot. Get in low. Don't think about it. Shoot him. I was in the military, man. Yo, there's a lot of people. Yo, they're like hiding like pussies, man. Why are these guys hiding? Bastard's gonna burn! Oh, there you go. Ah, oh, burn yourself. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Got to reload! He's unloaded! Shit! Shit, that would have been bad. Okay, I'm in need of some ammo, man. This guy got ammo? That fucking time. Yo, let me drive. Shove over. Don't I? You old? I am. How'd it go with Baka? We came to an understanding. He stayed dead, not let him. Let's get back to Sammy's. Can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. And this Pops shit is with the Haitians has been man. weighing on him. And with them out the way, things will calm down. Oh, you like that shit? Be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he... I don't know. Dude, this is the Sometimes best, man. I think this he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't I'm rush not. to violence don't mean he lost something. I know, just makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it to me. Oh, no matter man. if it's a bullet or the hand of God, we all go sometime, right? I suppose. But Ellis, we don't need to talk about I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow is going to be looking to us or gunning for us. Just saying we got to be ready when that day comes. Yeah, well, that's not something we got to worry about right now. So just cool it with your grand plans, all right? Yeah, all right. Listen to the bro.
reverse parking this shit. Hell yeah. The Fang Lankin didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always gonna be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going in. That's how Mankin ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. They won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the way. Sooner or later, pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we gonna do about Marcano? Pay him his goddamn money one way or the other. Lottery gonna be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him up the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there to help. Now, they may not like it, but they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. I always did want to see the inside of that place. You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yep, yes, sir. that's I'm gonna sell my body. Alrighty. Native son. Can I go inside? Welcome back to Native Sun, dear listener. Well, that was a much Okay, break. so we can we can look around a bit. We got time for that. I want to see if there's anything to collect. Don't see anything. We can actually exit from there. Interesting. Okay, nothing. Come on, I'm expecting something here. Give me something. There's no one here, dude. Okay, kitchen. I know, I know, I'm not supposed to enjoy my coffee on air. <laughs> and outside. Oh, Gilbert's turning red, folks. <laughs> Garage. We're going upstairs. Oh, Checking like out upstairs, man. Gotta be some porn magazines up here. Yeah, we only have one room. Oh, and it's locked. Great. So, I can't even uh, check out this place. Let's go take our car. Let's open the door. <laughs> Yo, look at this. Floating cinder block and floating radio. Oh, these things are all floating. What the shit? Wow. Good job. For a more realistic driving experience, advanced player may wish to play using simulator driving. Toggle to driving mode. Back in 1930. Okay, what's the driving mode? Damn, look at that. What does that mean? Greater hole. Those reds over in Russia. Even the ones here at home. They try to sell that. As he... 
So how do I enable that? Nothing. I think the regular channel like that one sucks. Oh, that one's even more one more. oh shit, I just drifted when there was a cop behind me. <laughs> so tasty, so refreshing. Oh fuck this channel. Oh, okay, that's a loser. I hope that's not St. Lucas Pale Ale. No, good, cause that's putrid. How about this one? Oh, now that one. Oh, oh shit, that one's even more repulsive. One more? What do you think? Sick, my tongue is in love. So tasty, so refreshing. That was a real peep of a scene. And St. Lucas Pale Ale. Alright, gotta drive normally, man. Otherwise, you just wasted a lot of money on this commercial. You want the rest? Of course I do. Do you know what the word is in German for a beer that's this amazing and delicious? No. Just to burn out behind a cop. St. Lucas Pale change Ale. Lanes. Fresh, smooth, golden, right behind delicious. Behind this magic cop. A flavor that says, do it again. You think I'll get pulled over like this? Dude, come on, three right now. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Uh, I don't, okay. It's gone. I don't really know what the speed limit is. Yeah, I like this stuff. This dude is better. They don't need this. Fuck you doing up here? Help goes into the back. I'm uh I'm here to see Mr. Marcano. The name's Lincoln Clay. That a fact? I'll be goddamned. Mind your manners while you're in there, boy. Or there'll be hell to pay you here. Park over to the side. Did you burn up? Did you burn up on this thing? Lincoln Clay! Christ, man, get a look at you! I bet those fucking gooks shit themselves when they saw you coming. Been a long time, Georgie. Oh, no shit, it's been a long time. I think the last time I saw you was that night over in the French ward, right before you shipped out. <laughs> Damn, but that wasn't a gas. Oh, I seem to remember me and Ellis running from the cops, uh, and Danny ending up in the drunk tank. Hell, man, I bailed him out. Besides, so just worth it to knock the hell out of them cracker assholes. <laughs> Smoke? Sure. Oh, man. Sammy said Mr. Marcano wanted to see me. 
Mr. Marcano? Shit. Make him sound like a goddamn lawyer. You just call him Sal. Come on, he's in the back. Wow, that bitch. Thought I was gonna steal from you? Oh my god, everyone's gonna give me looks. I should have wore something else. Hey, these squares have a problem with your dress. Take it up with my old man. He'll tell him to kiss his ass. <laughs> nice thing about having fuck you money. Olivia, I hate to cut this short, darling, but I've got a meeting coming up. Remy, a pleasure as always, sir. Two more glasses. <laughs> Lincoln. Good to see you. This is Vito Scaletta. He's the one I've been telling you about. Come on, Lincoln, sit down. So you served in Vietnam, huh? Yes, sir. Sal tells me uh, you're in a few pieces of tin over there. Well, I served with some good men. Nothing I did would happen without them. Army? Marines? Regular army at first, and then I was recruited to the 5th SFG. Special Forces. I told you it was something else. Now, not that anything's gonna go wrong, but just in case, goddamn, don't you want a man like that on your side? Well, if you're vouching for him, Sal, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Look, I got a couple things to take care of. Thanks for the drink. Christ, that guy's an asshole. <laughs> Fucking carpetbagger. Commission sent him down here from Empire Bay about 15 years back. He's been a pain in my goddamn ass ever since. Ever well, since. I guess you're wondering what this is all about. Yeah, Sammy didn't tell me too much. Twice a year, the feds take old money out of circulation and destroy it. Over the course of the next few days, that money's gonna be delivered here to the reserve in town. And you're gonna hit one of those shipments? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. We are gonna use that occasion to gain access to their vault. And then steal everything that ain't nailed down. <laughs> Should be six, seven million in there? Easy. <laughs> That's pretty fucking ballsy. <laughs> it's a chance of a goddamn lifetime is what it is. Now, Vito's fronting a lot of the money for the job, and he got us the combination to the vault. Hey, you had a chance to see Danny? No, not yet. Oh, well, you will. We brought him and his old man in on this, and they're gonna need your help, so go see them. They ain't still in that same place. There's something else we gotta talk about. Now, it's safe to assume you know about the problem Sammy's been having. I took care of the Haitians. Once things settle down, money will start coming in again. You see that right there? That's what I'm talking about. You didn't sit around with your thumb jammed in your ass. You saw a problem, you went out and took care of it. God damn, I take that over money any day of the week. We pay our own way, debts and all. Always have. Oh, hell, son, I know that. I wouldn't expect otherwise. But you know, even after we all evened up, you're still gonna be slopping around in the ass end of this city. Not much of a future in that. But maybe there's a different way forward, you understand? For all of us. What'd you have in mind? I want you to know I mean no disrespect when I say this. Sammy's a hell of a man. But he's not getting any younger. And I'm thinking it's time to make a change. Well, I don't think that Ellis is ready for that kind I'm of not talking about Ellis. I'm talking about you. I want you to run the holler. Damn. I can't do that. Well, look here. If you're worried about Sammy, don't you understand? Now, he's always been on the level with me. And this job we're talking about, there's more than enough for him to retire on. He took me in when I had nowhere else to go. Treated me like a son. I'm sorry, Mr. Marcano. I, I can't do that to him. Uh-oh, he's getting mad. Well, shit, son. I'd be lying if I didn't say I wasn't just a little disappointed. But I get it. You're loyal. Which is something that is scarce these days. Do you still want me to help with this thing we've been talking about? <laughs> you goddamn right I do! <laughs> and when it's all done, you all be more than square with me. You have my word. What do you really want to hear? That we kidnap and torture anyone suspected of working with the VC? Oh, real life people footage. I'm trying to ascertain the level of training that Lincoln Clay received during his time in Vietnam. 
Someone like that you don't need to train. You point them in the right direction and get the fuck out of their way. Damn. Oh, we're back here. Can't see a goddamn thing. Neither can they. Stay cool. We'll get through this. Motherfuckers. Whoa, what is this? I got eyes on the suspect. Get around this asshole. Got eyes on this one. Taking cover. How about we finish this? Line up. Yeah, that's it. Fuck yeah! The drill's through! No more smoke, that's good. Hot damn, man, that's what took you guys so long! Piece of shit drill kept overheating! You and Lincoln both still in one piece? Yeah, we good. Where's Danny? He's pushing everything off the side so that we have room to catch the money! Alright, well, once you squared away up here, we start driving it down. We'll make it quick! Okay. Oh, oh kill the, the lights. Just worry about the money. I'll deal with this. All this military. Trying to flush this out. Stay focused on what you're doing. Swap cover. Right there. Here he is. Get over it. Lock this place down. Oh shit! What the oh, ho, ho. he fell a long way. Easy shit. Get to the vault, okay. God damn it, those guards will cut us down the second we make a break for it. Tell Danny he needs to get us out of here. And these bastards got us pinned down, y'all need to figure something out. I got some TNT, I'll put on our side of the hole and detonate it. What the fuck is that gonna accomplish? With any luck, it'll blow a hole big enough for y'all to drop down. With any luck, Danny, do you even know what the fuck you're doing? Oh, is dynamite. How complicated could it be? It's lit. Get the fuck away from the hole. We're still looking. Fuck. Oh, stupid idiot. why Sal Marcano turned on Thomas Burke, uh, but he took Point Verdun from him and gave it to an enforcer named Roman the Butcher Barbieri, who promptly busted up one of Burke's legs. Now, Danny Burke was part of the heist crew. I mean, he was a gearhead, had never done anything like this before, but Thomas Burke insisted. He figured if the heist was a success, Sal would forgive him and return Point Verdun. Interesting. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, 
Penetrate her, all right. <laughs> I knew I'd hey. penetrate her, too. No, I heard there ain't nothing sweeter than Vietnamese pussy. <laughs> you tell me it's true. <laughs> Casanova Clay. Shit, man, it's so fucking good to see you. You too, Danny. That's Nikki. God, she wanted to be here, but I ain't remember how old Oh, damn, you piece of shit. Yeah, unfortunately. Come on, let's grab a beer. Wait for the old man to chill out, and then we can get down to it. Yeah. What's up, man? You already got it all set up and organized. All the girls gonna be there and everything, except we just gotta go in my cars, because we can't roll up in that beat-up piece of shit outside. <laughs> oh, you didn't just call my all-American machine a beater. I'm just saying, there better rides out there. Hey, bullshit there are. This car's a beast. I dropped the custom 358 in before we shipped out. That ain't the only thing you dropped in her. Maybe you should tell them about how you'd borrow it from Ellis and take the ladies <laughs> for a ride. Hell, man, leave me out of there. Wait, you fucking my car? Mm -hmm. Nah, it ain't no big deal. I was always wrapped up tight. <laughs> Besides, I already got one fucking bass in my life. I don't need another one. All right, you know what? You're going to clean it. Not just the back oh. seat. Every square inch. <laughs> I don't need to be riding around sitting in your shit. Hey, and you, funny man, you going to fucking help. Like hell I am, shit, I didn't get any. Yeah, well, it's just new. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you fucking jokers got about as much chance of pulling this off as I do at winning a goddamn decathlon. Oh, all right, Dad, we hear you. Donnie and Ellis, you're gonna use the drills to cut a hole up through the bottom of the vault. You and Georgie, you'll be inside. You're to drop the money down, then get the hell out of there. That goddamn drill ain't easy to move, though. So we need a boat, to get her through the canals and into position. Well, Ellis and I worry about the boat. See, George's old man flipped the guard at the reserve, giving you his truck. <laughs> Between that and the uniforms, and no one gonna give us a second look. <laughs> Come on, let's get moving. Still gotta swing by Skeletters and finish up some prep work. Hey, and you two assholes, don't think this gets you off the hook when it comes to my car. Y'all best get ready to clean it. I ain't cleaning shit. Hey, you cleaning it. So we're gonna end the episode Few of them good. after this cutscene. It's pretty interesting moves. where the story goes back and forth, and it uh, puts you right into the action, right gives you some backstory, puts you back into action. It was his idea to use a boat to move the drill into position. He was a real son of a bitch, my father. More than anyone else, I blame him for what happened. You want to stick your own neck out, fine, but leave your son out of it. Cripple. It's his fault Danny died. What? Danny fucking died? Oh shit, I thought he just lost his leg. I guess we all had to leave him. Is everyone in? We need to go. We all here, go! Hold see him right there. Okay. So here's where we're ending the episode. Stay tuned for the escape on the boat. So I guess Danny does die in uh, this section. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this series. It's a lot of fun playing this game so far and we'll see you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for the next episode. Bye everyone.